Here we go again with the formation in videos, but this time with more advanced technique. Let's suppose you want to apply the deformation on the water of a video. There is a surface that is constantly changing. Or let's consider you have a camera angle that is changing a lot between the start and the ending part of the animation. In both cases, you cannot use just a single image texture like we did in the last week on the tutorial with a ground wave deformation. Instead, today we're gonna use image sequence texture and it's not an easy thing as you may think. So make sure that you have already done the tutorial because it covers the basics and the most easy way of deforming a video. You can find the tutorial on my YouTube channel. There is the fast or the slow version you choose. Make sure that you do it before doing this because today we're gonna start from the result of that tutorial adding two or three things. So let's move down this a bit. Let's add another image texture and plug it into the base color. Now we're gonna click on open and this time we're gonna choose all the frames of an animation. So click on the first frame. This step is important, pay attention. Press A on the keyboard to select them all and then click on open. Cool. Now we have an image sequence texture. Click on auto refresh. I'm gonna set the start frame on zero. And we're gonna choose a, a total amount of frames higher than the total of frames of the animation, just for safety. We're gonna choose clip here. And now we can delete the single image texture. If you scroll the animation, you see that uh, we have our movie projected, but it's not aligned. And that makes sense because the last time we just UV projected one frame, the frame 100, you remember? So now we're gonna fix this. In the modifier, choose the UV project and uh, move it uh, before the wave modifier. As a reference object, we're gonna choose the camera. And now, as you can see, our video is still not aligned with the animation. To fix this, we're gonna go in the aspect X and type 1.7778. And now it's all aligned. Why I choose exactly that specific number? We have to do a mathematical operation. Basically, you have to divide the width the resolution of your video for the height resolution and you get your number. This happens because Blender would like to work just with cubic texture and not with uh, rectangular. This is the reason why we have to tweak a bit the aspect ratio in order to force Blender to accept our video. So now you see the power of this technique. Our camera is acting like a projector, projecting our movie into the ground. And now you can do endless things to the mesh now. You can deform it, you can destroy it. I cannot even imagine how many things I can do with this technique. Last thing, but not less important, there's a common problem that occurs when using image sequence textures. That is that uh, sometimes everything becomes purple without any reason. <laughs> I show you, let's suppose I'm tweaking this node and uh, let's suppose I'm gonna change maybe, yeah, I'm gonna change this to movie just for testing. And then I want to switch back to image sequence, expecting the texture to be back, but they actually disappear without any apparent reason. And I found out that uh, I just need to move to another frame and the problem is fixed. That's it for today. See you to the next chapter of Easy VFX. Ciao, ciao.